Jane is not picking up. What do we do? We're not going to sit around and do nothing, that's for sure. Aravin, why don't you write down a list of places that Jane frequents? Anywhere you think she might be. Then I'll update Officer Ariana. Send me some photos of Jane. I'll print them out and show them around. Maybe someone saw her recently. I'll get Mandy, Anthony and Peiling to help. I think the more eyes we have, the faster we'll find her. Good idea. Everyone, thanks for coming down. We need all the help we can get. This is a recent picture of Jane, and these are some of the places we think she might be at. Everyone knows where to look at. As soon as you find her, call an ambulance because she needs urgent medical care. Good luck. Let's hope you can find her in time. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Let's meet. Finish your work. Let me check. Bobby, all your answers are wrong. I can't concentrate. I want to help look for the baby's mummy. You better finish your exam paper properly again. Or your mummy will scold you when she comes back. Violet, finish your compo? Not yet. How do you spell hemorrhage? Huh? What kind of story are you writing? By the time they found her, it was too late. The mother was in a pool of blood. She suffered a... How do you spell hemorrhage? The mother's not going to die. Mummy said if they don't find her in time, she might hemorrhage. How do you spell hemorrhage? The girl comes to this playground. Ah. How old is she? Ah? So big already, still hanging out at playgrounds. I tell you, if she were the kind that hangs out at the library, she won't get into this kind of trouble already. Nobody, right? Ah, then move on. La. Very hot. Eh. Ba, are you sure you want to be out here? So hot. You should just stay at the shop. Cannot. When the community needs help, I must be out here helping as the RC chairman. I cannot just sit in aircon and shake legs when my residents need me. Hey! RC. RC. Any luck? No one has seen her. What about you? Nothing. Oh. How come I have to look up and down the stairs? So tired and hungry. So weak. Hey. Is your ORD tomorrow? Has mum talked to you about your celebration dinner? Oh my goodness, no, no, no. Can you stop yapping or not? Mum said we have to find her, okay? It's a matter of life and death. Let's go there. Troublesome. Hey! Oh. Watch where you're going! Sorry. Uh, hey, any updates on the baby's mother? Nothing yet. I'm just curious, do you get many cases like this? Teen mothers? Unfortunately, yes. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? How could the parents not have noticed she was pregnant? I assume she was staying with them all this time. You'd be surprised how many parents have no clue what's going on in their children's lives. It's sad. Excuse me. I can't think of anywhere else she could be. And the rest haven't found her either. Aravind, is there anything you can tell me about Jane? Anything at all? Maybe she's with the baby's father. Do you know who he is? I, I, I don't. Look, son, I know you promised not to say anything, but Jane's life is in danger. I'm telling the truth there. All I know is that she's afraid of her boyfriend. She was scared to tell him and her parents. That's why she came to me. She had no one to turn to. I'm not lying to you. I know. But you still look disappointed. No, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just... It's just that you remind me so much of your mother. She was always helping people too. I remember. So what do we do next? We keep looking. Try calling Jane again. Jane? Help. Help me. Jane, where are you? Christine, meet us at Mart. Jane! Jane, Jane, Jane! Are you okay? Erwin, don't touch her. The ambulance is on the way. She's going to be alright, isn't she? We'll do our best to save her. I didn't know she could get this sick. I was just trying to keep her secret. Jane, tell me where it hurts. That is the most ridiculous thing I've heard. At least they found her in time. That girl, she is still fighting for her life. 
All because of the heiress could not get his own son to talk. What kind of father is that? Useless fella. No boy pointing fingers. Just hope that the girl is okay. What if she dies? Huh? What then? Ma, ah, it's not good for you to be so woke up. Your blood pressure. What is wrong with your sister? Huh? Always choosing the wrong man. Man who will drag her name through the mud. Ah, may she da. Wow. So tired. Looking high and low for the girl. Everything is okay now, isn't it? Better hope so. Otherwise, your sister's life will be on the front page again. Ex-husband ran away with millions. Husband to be responsible for death of the teenage mother. You can't, ah. So, Ma. Hey, Sui. Ah, oh, my shoulder's acting up again. Can you massage it for me? Dude, we are on the way to the TCM. Can't you wait? Just a little bit. You want me to massage you here, right here in the middle of the streets? Please. Here? Yeah. Ah. Uh... Hey, what's wrong with your shoulder? <laughs> Nothing, it's just dandruff. Dandruff? What are you doing here, Baba? Picking something up at the hardware store. Yeah, yeah, we should go. Uh, uh, where are you going? Oh, the TCM mm. shop. For what? Dandruff. The dandruff's not good. <laughs> Wait. Your mama is cooking your favorite tonight. Don't be late for dinner. Hi, you're the boss, right? Just because he's male, he's the boss? Uh, no, I just assume that... Why can't you assume that the female is the boss? So, you're the boss? Actually, no. Uh... Hi, Hafiq! Hey, you are back! <laughs> welcome, welcome. Remember me? Uncle Heng! <laughs> Actually, he's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you remember, right? Hey, joke you, eh? This is Uncle Heng. <laughs> hey, how's the golf? Uh... Hafiq is the national moment of the year. Oh, not the golfer. Ah. No, I'm not a golfer, but I dabble. Albert, my manager. Albert, this is Uncle Heng. Hi, hi, hi. My customer. Call me the Tauke of TCM. That's cool. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> my son, Anthony, my daughter, Geraldine. Please fill up the form, your particulars and medical history. Oh, I like the look of your shop. Huh? Very, very true. Been in our family for three generations. Three generations, so I guess he's next in line, huh? <laughs> if I outlive my dad, he... Yeah. <laughs> Al, how old am I? Can I lie on this form? No, you cannot. Just joking. Ah, <laughs> never mind. Fill it up later. Do your treatment first. Come, come, come. Sure thing. Wow, I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. My dad likes having it around. He's a traditional guy. My sister and I had to convince him to go digital, trying to get him to modernize the place, appeal more to the younger generations. Paul Wee is taking care of Jane. He's the best. She's in good hands. Where's Aravind? He went out to buy something to eat. You're really angry with me, aren't you? That look you gave me in the alley. Can we talk about it? I'd rather not. I don't want to say anything that I might regret later. Oh boy. But okay. You're doing it again. D doing what? I said I didn't want to talk and you just let it be. And you did the same thing with Erevin. So you want me to force you to talk to me even though you don't want to? You definitely should have forced Erevin to tell us about Jane. I know you were worried about the baby. But what about Jane? If you were harder on Erevin, instead of just letting him keep quiet, Jane wouldn't be in this condition right now. I 
Are you all right? I'm sorry. I know there were many fires to put out. Who should you save? The baby? Jane? Or your relationship with Aravind? Well, I guess it wasn't wrong to choose Aravind. I didn't want him to feel like he's backed up against a wall and no one to turn to. But you knew he would do the right thing in the end, didn't you? He's a good kid. I trust him. And I should have trusted you too. I'm so sorry for giving you that look. It's times like this that I really miss Mum. She would know exactly what to do. Your mom always knew how to make everyone feel better. <laughs> but it helps talking to you too. I'm always here for you and Arvin. You know that, right? Ah, just the person I was looking for. I should go. Mm. Okay, bye darling. Okay. Bye bye. If you want to talk to me about mm. the abandoned baby, I already know. <laughs> That's old news. I came for more info from you. About? My sources tell me that you have been dating different gentlemen every other week. Okay, I'm not doing anything wrong, okay? Hey, not that you were. I just want to know that who's the lucky young man you're bringing for Alex's wedding? So... How's the show this now? A lot better. Great, since you're feeling better, I think we should touch base with some sponsor this evening. <sighs> Didn't you hear what my dad said? My mom's making her legendary rundown. The sponsors can wait. <laughs> hey, but later, bro. 85! Brayden, you are more capable of doing better. What happened? I'm going to buy you more assessment books. This weekend, no TV. You are going to finish all the assessment books. Make sure you know your work. I know my work. I was just distracted during the paper. What happened? T two boys started fighting in class. So I was distracted. So I didn't do well. How can the teacher let this happen? <laughs> Miss Ortega, I need to talk to you about Brayden's marks. I'm sorry, Mrs. Heng. I'm in a hurry. Okay, the driver is waiting for me. He did so badly, you know. I, I thought he did quite well. He was one of the top scorers. Not good enough! He said there was a fight in the class and you didn't stop it. He was so affected, that's why he did so badly. What fight? There was no fight. You're saying Brayden lied to me? Um, okay, I'm sorry. I, I really have to go. Hey, Justin. Um, I missed my driver, so I'm going to be a bit late, okay? I'm sorry. Is Jane out of danger? She's in ICU now, but she'll be fine with the antibiotics we've given her. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Doctor. No problem. Okay, let's all go home and rest. Uh, thanks for staying over with me. No worries. It's the same as the I totally forgot about it. <coughs> oh my god! <coughs> Mandy, what the hell? Hey! It's not my fault, okay? I looked at my phone for one second, next thing I knew, everything just incinerated. <coughs> <coughs> You're welcome, by the way. Happy ORD. Papa, for you. Oh, thanks for remembering. Hey, Mum did remember, didn't she? She called this morning, but I didn't answer. Whatever. Come, come, sit down. Let's eat. Violet, come. No. Hi, can I have one bubble tea with extra bubbles, please? Thank you. Bubble tea for breakfast? That can only mean one thing. Mm-hmm. Disaster date. What happened? I was late, Justin was angry, so game over. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. But don't give up on love, okay? I'm sure there's someone out there for you. And you will find him. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find him. Hmm. 
What, is there something on my face? Did I...? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you look really tired. And RC told me you spent the whole night at the hospital. Is that teenage mum doing okay? Oh, she's much better now, yeah. Then why are you having bubble tea for breakfast? Oh, no, no, no. Christine forgot Damon's already this morning and he is not happy. So I told her I'll have a talk with him with um, this tea stuff. So wish me luck. <laughs> Christine's lucky to have you. Oh, look at all these articles about your friend. What are they saying? Nothing much. Bland, boring articles. I could have written a much better piece. Jane's feeling a lot better, by the way. I need a break. Just one chance to prove that I'm a great journalist. Hey! <laughs> Tell my mother I'm fine. I don't care that she forgot her ORD, okay? It doesn't matter to me. And I don't want to have coffee with you. What did the clown want? To talk. Nonsense. His own son doesn't even listen to him. Why should you? Exactly. Come, let's go. Go where? Go and see where you're staying. Akong, why do you suddenly want to see where we're staying? I want to see for myself exactly what kind of family your mother is getting herself involved with. Come. Why so many messages? All my friends know that I'm bad. I thought no one's supposed to know you're bad. Hey. There's an article about you coming back and keeping up with the news. I thought we could have some quiet time with you. Now we have to share you with the rest of Singapore. Don't worry, la Mama. There's plenty of me to go around. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother made you all squeeze into this place. I never had to share a room in my entire life. This is horrible. Hey, I have to share a room with two other people. You only have one. Now I understand why you to leave this place. Who's leaving? Pa, what are you doing here? Your son came to tell me that he wants to leave this place. Now I understand why. Leave? What are you talking about? I already ORD. I want to travel. How come you never mention anything to me? How to talk to you? You are showing no good sense at all. Huh? Moving my grandchildren into this, this box, marrying a man who has no control over his own children. Let me tell you this, okay, Christine. I'm warning you for your own good. Don't marry the clown. I know this hasn't been easy for you, but keeping things from me isn't gonna help. Look, we've always told each other everything, right? It's different now. With Christine? She's not a mother. She will never take the place of your mom. But Christine, Damien, Mandy and Violet are our family now. They have to be. <laughs> mom would want Dad to be happy. I guess she would want us to accept them too. Fine. Nice! The news of Hafik's return is going viral. Why are you so happy? Did you write it? I tipped them off. Did mom used to write these type of articles? Uh, no. But I'm sure Arasi wants to be a reporter like mom, and this is just a stepping stone. Right, Arasi? Damien, you can't just decide to pack your bag and leave. This is not a sudden decision. I've been wanting to get away for a long time. Since when? Why? Why? What do you think why? To get away from the busy bodies. Ever since Dad left everywhere I go, everyone has been asking me what happened. Why did he do what he did? I'm so sick of it, you know? Damien, you can't just leave. I'm not asking you for permission. I'm telling you. Anyway, Kong Kong says it's okay. Damien! Damien! Where's Pa? In the toilet. 
You know his stomach weighs like up when he's upset. So it's my fault that he keeps losing his temper at me. He's not you. But I still miss his mom. That's why he gets angry all the time. And I'm punching back. Maybe postpone the wedding. Let him cool down first. No! You know what? Since you're all against the wedding, then just don't come. None of you are invited. Me! Me! So darling, I'm here to stay. Don't really care what they say. Brian, tell mommy you're sorry and you promise to do better next time. Uh, sorry, mommy. I promise to do better next time, mommy. Promise, mommy. You won't lie to her again. I won't lie to you again, mommy. Good boy. I want to know the truth, Brayden. What truth? There's no reason for Brayden to not do well. Something must have happened during the test and he's not telling us because... he's scared of the teacher. What? How do you come up with that? Don't worry, Brayden. Mommy will go to school and ask your teacher what happened. Hold on, I'm going to get my blazer. Mommy's going to my school? What happened? Nanai, please tell Mommy not to talk to my teacher, please. Oh. <laughs>